you mentioned that when you were in, in high school that you, you weren't as good as everyone else. What did that set you up for? Working harder than everybody else. So then when I became the best, I still trained like I was second or third best. When I was younger, it, that actually gave me the work ethic. I had the desire and I had the competitive nature, but the thing that underpins everything is your work ethic. That mindset of the hard work, showing up every day, working a little bit harder, than yesterday working a little bit harder than the person who's in front of you has always held me in really good stead. When you watched this year, when you watched what happened with uh, the soccer, when you watched the way the nation was captivated by the Matildas, what did that what did that mean to you? I often find myself at the moment being feeling really emotional about that sort of stuff. You know, I recall the days of playing in front of 200 people for us. And then now, you know, they get 200 people to watch them train for the netballers. And so I love where we are. Here I am, I'm 50, I've got silver hair and I'm still on television. And one of the big things is that I show up, I'm prepared, I have a good attitude, I try and work with people, try not to be a diva. Like all the things that you actually don't see on the screen, the things that happen off the screen are the things that make you good at what you do. I've spent like 15 or 16 years living this high performance athlete lifestyle where it's not just nine to five, it's 24 seven. When I had my final miscarriage, I was 41 and I just grieved for months because I thought I've just left things too late. 